$86 for half a tank. <laughs> we are going to Yosemite. Check the weather um, around 1 a.m. and it was 17 degrees. So <laughs> definitely had the heater on last night. But oh, and my windows froze shut. I couldn't open them this morning. This is my first time taking van to Yosemite. One of my friends scored campsites at Upper Pines Campground, and there's space for two rigs. Uh, at least that's what it says online. We're hoping we can both fit there. <laughs> Returning to Yosemite will always feel a bit like returning to a dream. I didn't even know it existed until I was 28. But since then, I've found myself returning here again and again. This is where I snowshoed for the very first time and pitched a tent in five degree weather with friends. This is where my 241 mile trek along the John Muir Trail began where I stood on top of Half Dome, followed P. 
beautiful trails into the unknown and camped in places that didn't even feel real. I've been here with friends, with partners, colleagues, and I've stood here alone more times than I can count. I've been here through spring, summer, winter, and fall, when the waterfalls were raging and when there was no water at all. I've wandered this valley in the snow, the rain, the wind, the sun, the smoke. So many sunsets, sunrises, and just nights spent beneath the stars. In the shadow of these granite walls, I've learned from and been inspired by people who've turned their own dreams into reality. And I still have to remind myself at times that this is not a dream. I couldn't turn on my heater because my battery was completely flatlined. I am driving around the park right now just trying to rejuvenate my house batteries. And it's supposed to snow in the next hour and a half. So the last time I was in Yosemite, it was the day before it started snowing for the first time and it was like a huge winter storm. Being in the Xterra, I felt totally safe having a 4x4 that I could navigate the roads just fine, but I didn't have a heater and I didn't have insulation, so pros and cons. They have closed Tioga Road, they say temporarily, closed 120 in preparation for the snow.
the storm is moving in. Uh, that happened kind of fast. I was making soup, but I think I should get out of here because it's snowing and I'm up at Tunnel View, which means I still got like 25 minute drive back to camp and it's getting dark and I don't want to be stuck on slippery roads. So um, my soup <laughs> is cooked, but I have it on the floor. That's probably not going to go well, but I figured it was better than sitting here and eating it and driving back in the dark. So fingers crossed the soup makes it. holding on strong. I can smell it. I'm hungry. Made my soup. I got avocado and then I toasted some sourdough bread with uh, olive oil and sea salt. I'm going to eat dinner and then I don't know because I'll probably run out of power uh, if I plug in my laptop and work. I really want to review footage and edit but sometimes this is one of the reasons why I fall so far behind on videos because when I'm inspired to edit I don't always have enough power to edit <laughs> so I have to find other things to do and tonight is probably going to be one of those nights. Anyway I will see you guys in the morning. Thank you.